Juan Corral, and Klaus Endresad, and we're ready to go. It's Long Beach State who controls the opening tip, and we are underway. Again, both schools looking for their first conference wins. Santa Barbara hasn't played since December 30th when they lost on the road in overtime at UC San Diego. Roberts in the lane. Here's Triore underneath, one fake, and gets it off the glass. Nice to see him use his athleticism. Got the ball in the floor. Santa Barbara's not going to be happy about the middle drive, but Abubakar used his athletic ability to go up and over. And he's got a ton of that athletic ability, as we talked about on Saturday, maybe the most in the conference. Maybe the most in the nation. He's top 1% in athleticism. Here's Murray who finishes and a fast start for Long Beach State. Well, it's what I want to see about Murray. You know, continue to be aggressive. Now, the, the dilemma for him is he's got to pick and choose his spots uh, offensively and get others involved as a lead guard. UC Santa Barbara turnovers have been a problem for them this season, averaging over 14 a game. This is a really talented Santa Barbara team on paper. They're trying to figure things out and figure out the mix of inside-outside offensively. Sonny leaves a three short. Long Beach State back the other way. Slater almost lost it. And then Murray steps down the sideline, so the ball is going back to UCSB. First turnover for the beach. Well, unfortunate. I, I thought that maybe uh, Murray would have, or um, excuse me, Slater would have had a chance to continue that dribble drive and try and get it up. He opted to pass it out to Murray in the corner. Uh, he shot it plenty on Saturday. Slater was 6 out of 21 in the loss to Hawaii. Underneath, Amadou So against Slater. But you're Roberts right there, over you, to help. You see the double team. That's when you know you're a good player, when you demand a double at any level. Mitchell has to back it out. Shot clock into single digits. Five on the shot clock. Sonny takes on Murray. The jumper off the rim. Triori flies in for the board, but can't control it. Torre with a putback. Big time defense by Murray. Walled him off. That's a pretty good offensive player on that dribble drive. But the culmination of good defense, the rebound. Long Beach State, again, 4-9 overall, 0-1 in conference play, trying to build some momentum against the defending Big West champs. These two teams matched up in the Big West tournament last year. Jadon Jones had a career day his freshman year. Here's Murray with three on the shot clock, 3-2 strong. They're not quite the offensive possession you want. Murray had to put that one up, but they've got to get going downhill, looking to penetrate, finish, penetrate, kick, or drop off to a big. How about the matchup underneath Slater on So? Well, that's all about fight. You know, when they played Hawaii the other day, they went with the smaller lineup. They had guards in there. And against Hawaii, that first 20 minutes of play was the best defensively that I had seen them play. And, and, and it all comes with just wanting to do the right thing. The guards competed. They fought in the post. They pressured passes. This team is making baby steps in terms of progress. They, they've just got to put two halves together. We've talked about it. Good half at UCLA. Really good half at USC. They've got to put 40 minutes together. That's when you're talking about sustainability. Miles Norris. Good on the first free throw. He's a senior transfer from the University of Oregon, a San Diego native. I mentioned uh, a moment ago, but yeah, UC Santa Barbara lost in overtime on the road at UCSD in their last game, which was on December 30th, 85-83. They've had three straight games canceled due to COVID. Now Slater, back to Murray. Slater has it deep. He'll shoot it from there, not this time. Torrey right on top of him. Now the three, too strong. UCSB down by one with the basketball. Ajari Sani down low for Norris. And got the bounce against Abubakar Traore. Tough shot there from Norris. Well, at 6'10", he used that length to be able to go up and just knock it down. Now Roberts. Good defense underneath. Slater going to try another three, and this time swishes it through. When you have player movement and you have ball movement, you're able to get good, clean looks. Feet were already uh, locked, loaded. Great, great execution there offensively for the beach. Slater, a 41% three-point shooter on the season coming into today's game. Now one of two from distance. And that one an unforced turnover as Mitchell lost it out of bounds. And you see Santa Barbara with 
three early turnovers. You know, we talked about Murray, you know, being aggressive, picking and choosing with Slater. I like his leadership. I mean, we know he can shoot the basketball, but I want him to hold guys accountable. He, he, he's a veteran out there. And, uh, you know, it's not always popular to be a leader. You know, people or, or an analyst, you know, sometimes when you keep it 100, you, 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 you got to tell the truth. I want to see a little bit more accountability that guys are being held to. Substitution for UC Santa Barbara. Amadou So to the bench. Robinson to Dehan is in. Roberts can't get on the board. The rebound goes to UCSB. So Dehan enters. The grad from Spain. He's been with this program a while. Now foul on the other end going against Long Beach State. Well, it certainly was, but before you even get to the foul, the big problem is the middle drive. You have to, they will continue to take these baby steps and get better. That's a really deep roster, too. They got a lot of guys who can hurt you, even though they're without a, a couple of big players like Ja'Cory McLaughlin, last year's Big West Player of the Year, and a, another guy who they're missing sorely, Deverell Ramsey, is a big part of this program. Here's Ajari Sani. Good look for three. Too short. And Roberts finally able to... Take the rebound away. Drew Cobb into the game for Long Beach State. He started on Saturday. He's in. Colin Slater to the bench. Murray for three. It's good. Joel Murray's first of the night. One of the best offensive possessions that they've had. Not just taking the shot because it's my turn to shoot or I think I was open. Great ball movement produced. A wide open look. Nothing but net noise for Murray. And one thing Saturday that we both noticed, Long Beach State was taking a, a lot of low percentage shots already getting better looks tonight. Yeah, it's all about shot selection at this level. If you're shooting a low percentage, take better shots. Here's a Dayhan underneath. Double team. Jones coming in with the help. And the beach come back the other way. Great athleticism by Abubakar. Roberts just lost it. Uncontrolled into the lane. Pierre-Louis down the floor. And he is fouled. It looks like Pierre-Louis will be headed to the free throw line. Well, Long Beach State, we mentioned in the keys, they've got to do a better job of getting back in transition and stopping the ball earlier. Once you get ahead of steam and you're not picked up and you're past the free throw line, something bad usually happens defensively. Josh Pierre-Louis off the bench. Plainfield, New Jersey native, transfer from Temple. He's a junior. Averaging just under 10 points a game and over five rebounds and just under three assists. So he, he's been a, a nice addition for this squad. Well, he's great in terms that he plays in attack mode. Sort of freakish athletically, as you can see as this game progresses. He's more a driver than a shooter. But I love the way he just gets out. He runs to the floor. Um, and, and uh, you know, what Long Beach State's going to have to do is they're going to have to make him play sideline to sideline, deter him, make him pick up his dribble. Second free throw, no good. Romel Mansell just off the bench, comes up with a rebound. Cobb fakes a three. Here's Mansell. Now Joe Hampton into the game for the first time. Looking for a shot against So, and he gets it. Beach up by six, 12 to six the score. Well, I like with Hampton getting into the game. Where do they go first? Not an outside jumper. Go inside. Let Hampton use his physicality and, and, and cherish and relish that one-on-one -on -one coverage down low. Mansell on a day head. Sonny looking to drive. Jones comes over for help again. Now Mitchell from the elbow. Knocked to the floor. No whistle. He missed it in the rebound to Romel Mansell. Already grabbing a couple boards. He only played three minutes Saturday. Jones the open look and an air ball. And then Murray comes in with a bad foul. That's his second. Yeah, more a silly foul because that last defensive possession, I'll tell you, guys were covering ground. They were talking. They were on the balls of their feet. Uh, and, and a pretty good block out. I mean, I didn't see everybody check out. But again, it's the, the game within the game. Defensively, I hope there's an assistant on the bench that's writing down the good and the bad and being able then to show film and that's how you get better and it's league play the time is now beach defense stepping up early so far holding Santa Barbara to just two out of seven to start 29 percent let's see how the gauchos attack this zone defense right now want to see live hands active feet pressure the passes trace the ball Cole Anderson for three it's good off the bench and into the hoop well, the one thing you know in the scouting report, he can shoot the basketball. You have to be there on the flight of the ball. No open looks. Jones to Murray. Murray flies to the basket, lays it in. And Dayhan was closing in fast, and Murray able to sneak it through. Those are the good spurts of excellence where you're, you're playing as a group. You're playing as a team. 
you know, nobody's trying to get theirs. I, I love it. They're fun to watch when they're all in sync. Changing defenses right here. They were in a zone, the possession before. Now you see the beach is man to man. Cobb on Mitchell. Pierre Louis looking to drive. Oh, Split two defenders, tough layup, he got it. I'll give you two words, that was a mismatch. I, I love Romel, but you know, that's a, 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 a tall versus a little, he had no chance. Jones, gonna fire up a three. And the ball loose on the floor, able to get it, Drew Cobb. Now Mansell, deep two. That one way too strong. A.J. Mitchell with the basketball, Beach with a three point lead. Little cat mouse by Murray, but guarding so, I want to limit his touches. Catch and shoot by Anderson, and Jones comes in with a block. He had a couple of blocks Saturday. Santa Barbara gets it back. They got 10 on the shot clock, and so just lost it. Murray back the other way. Cobb drives and gets fouled. Uh, what I would like him to clean up a little bit is the defensive glass. A shot goes up, no offensive rebounds, and then let's see how on the other end they play out of the double teams on so. A.J. Neal into the game for Long Beach State. Here's Mansell down on the post. Cobb for three. The rebound goes to So. When you see Santa Barbara, the early uh, advantage on the boards. They have a chance to get within one or tie it with a three here. Cole Anderson. Now Pierre Louis picked up by Hampton. And a high pass the other way, another unforced turnover for the Gauchos. Hey, it, Long Beach State is connected defensively. Their feet are moving, they're talking. I always say that a quiet defense is a bad defense. We're seeing a bunch of guys sort of direct traffic and have each other's back. Neal playing in just his eighth game this year. Did not see him Saturday, but into the game early today. Now Hampton against Adehan, and Adehan got the block. See, I would prefer that Joe doesn't fade away. You know, we saw Miles Norris fade away. He's 6'10". I want Hampton to be a pit bull in a china closet. Amadou So knocks down the three. He's 8 for 13 from distance. Doesn't shoot it often, but he shoots it well. No, but that's how he's gotten better, and that's why he's a candidate for Big West Player of the Year. He's worked on his game. He, inside, he's a beast, and now outside, he's a threat. UCSB has climbed back to tie it up. Long Beach State 0 for their last four. They haven't scored in two and a half minutes, and Anderson fouls Neal up high. You know, I like that set right there, Jason, but I want to see them have a steady diet and go into Joe Hampton. I want to see what Joe Hampton can do, and I've got all the faith in the world at six foot eight. Uh, but, you know, I don't want fadeaways. I don't want elbow jump shots. Get, it, get two feet in the paint and go to work and see how the defense adjusts to that. Tobias Rodegaard in the game for Long Beach State here. As that pass almost stolen by So, they whistle him for the foul, reaching behind Hampton. But, but two things, and it was an obvious foul, but what I would also say to Joe Hampton, number one, meet your pass, if you've got to meet it with the jump stop. Uh, okay, or one, once you got him, seal him on your back. It's like you're blocking out, even though you're trying to receive an entry pass. Use your body and use your physicality. So to the bench, Robinson and Dehan back in. Neal has a pass intercepted, and Sonny taking it all the way himself. And a timeout taken by Long Beach. Out of that called timeout by Long Beach, let's see what they do. Are they going to run a set to get the basketball inside? Well, they bring Slater, Roberts, and Triore back into the game to try to get the offense going again. Triore against Adehen. Looking desperately for a shot. He's got to get it out. With great defense. That just walling it up down there. Good job by the Gauchos. Now Slater. Not about a shot. Mitchell all over him. Roberts three on the shot clock. At the line. Up with the left hand. Didn't get the roll. Cobb's got the deflection. And a fresh 20 for the beach. Now set up a half court offense here. 10 on the shot clock. Cobb guarded by Torre. Four on the shot clock. Taking way too long to develop anything here. Cobb fires up a desperation three. It didn't hit the rim. It's a shot clock violation. Both those possessions, you know, a full shot clock at 30 and then an offensive rebound with 20. There, there's just no method to their madness. They're getting low percentage, what I call duress shots. Well, they basically wound that shot clock from 20 down to four up 
near the half court line. Yeah, I, 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 I want to see him go inside to J. Rob. A day hand against Chiore. Mitchell, contact, got it. He's going to the line. A.J. Mitchell, a chance at a three-point play. And Long Beach State has to be careful here. It was a close game early in the first half Saturday. Hawaii started to pull away at one point. But you see, it all starts with the closeout. It's a side saddle closeout. Cobb is always going to give you that extra effort. And, you know, he just side saddles them and he fouls them. And, you know, with A.J. Mitchell, you know, it's good to see him shooting the basketball because he's a point guard from Belgium. He's really a playmaker pass first pass first, but I, I like to see how he's evolved this year, having some touch offensively. Slater to the hoop, shot rejected, and Dayhen's got it. Santa Barbara on a 9-0 run, looking to add to it. Sani loses it, out of bounds, last touch by Ajari, it's going back to the beach. Sani pleading his case, he doesn't think so. Long Beach State scoring drought now at four and a half minutes. It's just imperative to get good shots. To, to you know, uh, again, it's just not. It's just not with the flow. You got to have some determination. Where do you want the ball? Who do you want to get the shot? Slater. He's going to take the shot. No good. But Rodegaard there for the board. Now Roberts. Out to Slater. Twelve to shoot. Roberts gonna try a three. It's good. Jordan Roberts. Roberts just three out of 12 now from three this year. He doesn't shoot him often. Yeah, but it's nice to contribute offensively. And then I want to see him go to him more. Get him inside. Use his length and his strength. And then he's got to really help this team rebound on both ends of the floor as well. Shot clock into single digits. Down low for Norris. He got around Slater, two-hand flush. Well, listen, Norris is 6'10", and when you look at Slater, he's pushing six foot one. So he did his part down there. You got to have more pressure on the pass. That pass can't get through that easy on the other end. Slater trying to get through himself and just lost it. Torrey and UCSB back the other way. They've made their last four shots. Shooting percentage up to 57% after a slow start. They've made six out of their last seven. Down low a day hen. Size advantage. Reverse layup doesn't go. Well, I mean, if I'm Santa Barbara, I'm going in every time. You know, it isn't youth league basketball where everybody gets a turn. If Slater's going to guard him, you, you got to go to him every single time. Rodegaard looking for his turn from three, couldn't hit. Battle for the loose ball on the floor. Who comes up with it? This hasn't been the start. They've had pauses uh, that, that Santa Barbara has wanted to get uh, off and get rolling. And UCSB really spreading the wealth to start this game. Only one UCS play, player with two field goals, and that's Norris. He's got five points. But already eight different players have scored. Rodegaard intercepts the pass underneath. Great help side defense by Rodegaard. He saw the pass come, moved on the flight, turnover Gauchos. See if the Beach can take advantage of a turnover for UCSB, their sixth of the game, and a foul going against the Gauchos. And Ajari Sani draws the whistle, the transfer from the University of the Pacific, a Houston native, Sani averaging 11 points a game, three rebounds, three assists this year. Big part of this Gaucho club. I, I love the athleticism by uh, Triori to put the ball on the floor, try and get to the hoop and draw the foul. Murray has won three. Goes to Roberts who backs down. Low shot clock. Two on the shot clock. Murray's got to get it off, and he's bailed out with a foul. Pierre-Louis whistled on the perimeter. So the good news is they were able to get a foul with that low shot clock to rest. But again, it, it's just the offense is almost like a box of chocolates. You're not really quite sure what you're going to see, yet we've seen bits and pieces throughout this young season where they execute. Somebody out there needs to take control and run this team. And, and I mentioned accountability. They've got to put people in their spots and demand that they execute. Shot clock into single digits. Roberts, he's going to try it off glass. No good. And then a foul against UC Santa Barbara again. So 
UCSB picking up the whistles in a hurry. That's their sixth team foul. Neither team in any sort of foul trouble in this first half. Five team fouls committed by the beach. We're already down to 546 remaining. I like the effort there by Rudigard. You know, in there, um, he, he, with his size, he's supposed to mix things up. Went up, you know, obviously got pushed in the back. A good effort. Cole Anderson back in for UCSB. He's got a three on his resume tonight. Cobb to inbound with Rodegaard, Murray, Roberts, and Triore on the floor. Murray around a screen from Roberts. Floater in the lane. Didn't get the roll. So's got the board. So already with five rebounds. Now the ball loose in the backcourt. Beach pick it up. Cobb dishes for Murray. Murray, offensive foul. Back to the Gauchos. Big time play by A.J. Murray. Just a burst of speed. Your feet move quicker than the person was with the ball. And he was able to get squared and absorb it on his chest. I feel like Long Beach State's done a nice job forcing Gaucho turnovers. Haven't been able to take advantage enough. Well, you see right there, well outside the restricted area. Just a big time play to give up your body and to take it on the chest. Long Beach State back on an another multi-minute scoring drought. Almost at three minutes now without a point. And the Gauchos lead just by three, 20 to 17. Anderson against Rodegaard. Now Mitchell to Pierre-Louis. Anderson. Ten on the shot clock for the Gauchos. Pierre-Louis drives, dishes, offensive foul. Triore to the floor. He drew it. Turnover number eight for UCSB. But eight turnovers for the Gauchos, just five points off turnovers for Long Beach State. I mean, you know, it's 17 to 20, and, and the beach is down three, yet they're only shooting 33% of the field. So you're not feeling real bad because you really haven't played well offensively or gotten many great offensive looks on this end of the floor. Slater trying to make it happen. Can't do it there. Triore trying to keep it alive and couldn't do that either. So has got the rebound, his sixth. Long Beach State just one for their last 12 and an offensive foul against the Gauchos. And that puts the beach into the bonus. Well, it's and two it's empty possessions if you're the Gauchos. So now what you have to do at Long Beach State, again, I, you know, it, it hit me like a brick when I looked up there and I see the way that Long Beach State is playing. It hasn't been close to perfection. And to be only down three, you're, you're doing okay. You just can't make the same mistakes over and over. And I want to see better shots on, on this end of the floor that's coming down uh, uh, for the beach. Neither team really having a good offensive first half. Long Beach State having a tough time getting shots up. Meanwhile, UC Santa Barbara having a tough time protecting the basketball. Triore. Now Rodegaard all the way to the hoop. Off to Triore. Can't lay it in. Anderson the rebound. Now Long Beach State won for their last 13. Just above four minutes to go in this first half. Couchos leading by three. And Jones. That's the type of ball pressure that I'm talking about. They're running a simple 1-5 pick and roll. And what do they want to do? They want to get so the basketball. So what do you have? You have active hands. Jones getting in there, deflecting that one out of bounds. Jones leads this team in deflections. That's how you chart, you know, energy and athleticism on the defensive end and being engaged. He's become a pretty good shot blocker. Had two on Saturday. Meanwhile, five on the shot clock. Torrey. Loses it, but fouled. Gauchos bailed out that time. Good, you know, a great drive to get downhill with two seconds left, but you got to play defense with your feet, not your hands. Coaches don't want steals. They want stops. Three minutes and 49 seconds left in this first half, and, and Long Beach State just won for their last 13, but somehow still down by just three. Three forty-nine left in this first half. UC Santa Barbara, the twenty to seventeen lead, and out they come. 
It's been a, a weird opening half here. Well, what Santa Barbara really needs to key on is whether they're forced or unforced, they're turnovers, and they have nine of them right now. So they're on pace to have 18, and that makes it very difficult to win on the road when you're turning the ball over the amount of times they have in this first half. Torre hits the front end of the one and one. He'll get another. Long Beach State in this first half, they've not gone to the free throw line. Well, they just haven't had many inside opportunities, you know, and that, that goes when you're settling for jump shots and, and when you're pulling the trigger easy. You know, there, there's got to be a balance inside and out, but with their downhill drives, I'd like to see them get some easy baskets and get to the free throw line. Well, it doesn't get much easier than a wide open Jadon Jones. He knocks it down, and it's a two-point game. Well, what that does is when Jadon can hit that shot, the Gauchos have to respect the three-point line, and it opens up cutters to the lane or dribble drives on reversals if he doesn't pull the trigger. Jones finished his freshman year last year with a big performance against UCC UCSB in the conference tournament. Anderson well short. And then a foul going against the Gauchos. And Long Beach State's going to the free throw line. Man, that was a feisty possession. And, you know, Rudigard, he hasn't shot the ball anytime I've seen him well, but I'm liking the little things he's doing. He's competing on that end on the glass, on the other end down here. You know, he was fouled going up for an offensive rebound. I, I, I haven't seen the fight in him, and, and I like the little baby steps he's taken to help this team. Well, Dan Munson going to Rudigard a lot earlier in this game than he did in the last one. We didn't see a whole lot of him against Hawaii. Rodegaard in that contest played just five minutes. He's already at nine minutes in this one as Joe Hampton stands at the line for one and one here. Hampton, 62% free throw shooter. And another free throw here would tie the game for Long Beach State. Twenty-two to twenty-one, the score. Next free throw, and that's good. Make it a tie game, twenty-two all. Three fifteen left, first half. Now it's Santa Barbara on a bit of a drought. They haven't hit a shot in four and a half minutes. And the the, the uh, Long Beach defense has a lot to do with that right now in terms of being proactive. Both teams have hit eight field goals. Long Beach State's gotten eight more shots up. So, knocks it down. That was pretty. Big time move. High catch. Kept it high. Let it go high. Slater looking to go all the way. Fouled and Colin Slater is going to go to the free throw line here. That's what I want to see. And we move on. Colin Slater trying to tie the game. Slater a good free throw shooter. Shooting at 91% this year from the line. Ehrman goes as quiet as it's gone in this contest, and Slater knocks down the first free throw. Colin now 22 for 24 from the free throw line. Those are almost Deshaun Booker free throw numbers. Deshaun Booker, as many Long Beach State fans know, a, a guy who played here a couple years, three, four years ago, and was an all-conference player, and set the program record for consecutive free throws made. Later, it's the next one. And I think if he had missed it, it might have been a, a violation on it UCSB. Have, it would have been. They had Amadou So getting his leg in there way early. And now the beach setting up for some full court pressure. Tie game 24 all, 245 left first half. Goucher's trying to get it across. Mitchell against Triore. We'll see Long Beach State go to that full court pressure at other stages in this game as well. They like to do it. Six on the shot clock. Mitchell, three to shoot. Good He's got to get it off. So for three, no good. Jones That's comes down with a rebound. Jump oh. ball call. Possession arrow will keep it with the Gauchos. I'm sure the ref saw that better than me from that angle, but you know, I always talk about verticality and the principle, and you know, maybe his arms didn't connect him, but I, 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 if I'm Dan Munson, I've, I'm, I'm yelling about a foul on that, and pretty good possession by Long Beach defensively to, at the start of it. And the officials going to the monitor again. 
The official coming to the monitor here, pointing the other direction. I think the officials might think the possession arrow was incorrect. Well, they confirm that the call on the floor is correct. So it'll be UCSB basketball, 2.14 to play first half. Sekou Torre picked up by Hampton. Mitchell for three. It's good. A.J. Mitchell. And it's 27-24. Jones looking to answer. Mitchell's got the rebound. UCSB three for seven from beyond the arc. Not the barrage of threes we saw Saturday from Hawaii. And now... A foul, Ajari Sani is going to the free throw line. Defensive discipline now. You know, I, 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 I don't think that was a great shot that Jadon took on the other end, okay, as opposed to the other one on this end for the Gauchos. But then to come down, it, it's just about defensive discipline. Uh, I, I talk about it every game and, and not just here, in other leagues, in, in the sense that, you know, you got to close out and keep them in front. Once you get, you go for that sports center steal, okay, then it's, you know, it's, it's four on five, it's three on two. There has to be some consistency on what you do and adhere to the principles that you're taught and drilled at practice. Sonny misses the second. Beach down by four, 28 to 24. Jones, here's Hampton in the post against a Dehan. Left-handed hook, didn't go for him. Torrey the rebound, but is that what you want to see from Joe? Absolutely, I'd like to see 10 of those in a row. I'm not worried that he missed it. I'm glad that they went into him. Good look. Dayhen fires cross court. Sonny, tough shot in traffic. That's two bad closeouts in a row. That one resulted in a foul. That one resulted in a basket. And now it's Sonny, the steal and the score. And a tough stretch for the beach. Dan Munson says, hey, let's slow things down. UCSB up by eight now with under a minute to go first half. So it was neck and neck. And all of a sudden, the Gauchos looking for a big lead heading into the locker room. Roberts down to Hampton, uh, above the elbow really there. Shot clock down to seven, and Triore fouled going to the basket. You know, this is going to be a crazy thought or analogy, but with the, with the Lakers playing well right now, where has LeBron been playing? What position? Center, okay? Uh, LeBron's been playing free throw line below, okay? And when they got, went into that stretch and they were winning games, well, it's the same thing when I look at Joe Hampton. Joe Hampton, I, I wouldn't let him, and again, the times have changed. You know, you coach a little bit different. I wouldn't let Joe Hampton face up at the elbow or un until he got me six or eight points in the paint. You know, again, when, when you coach, you want to put players in a position to succeed. He had a, a look there, and instead of getting the ball, he came out to get the ball. I want someone on the floor to get him to get, get, get in the paint. Get two feet in the paint and go to work. Meanwhile, Triori has done a lot of work at the free throw line to really improve his shot midseason. And he's got a perfect trip to the line. He looked great at the free throw line against Hawaii on Saturday. Five second differential, 35 and two tenths left. UCSB facing pressure in the backcourt. Mitchell having a tough time getting it across and a foul called in the backcourt against the beach. And, and, and I mean, you're so close to getting that, you know, 10 second call. And, and again, I, I say it all the time. I, it's like beating a drum. You go for the steal. We, we don't want the steal. We want the stop. Then we want them not getting a chance to take a shot, which, you know, now they're getting free throws. But, but again, it, it's all about the discipline of sticking to the script and executing what you've been drilled and instilled in. First foul on Abubakar Traore. Mitchell to the line. That's just the 19th foul on the beach, so no double bonus yet. And Mitchell shooting one and one. AJ 0 for 1 at the free throw line in this one. And he'll get another.
You know, the thing about Mitchell in this game is a couple of games that I've watched, he wasn't that assertive. And again, that comes with more reps. But, you know, he needs to have much more consistency with this three ball. Like I mentioned earlier, he, he's a pass first playmaking guard. He's got good vision. But I like the way he's shooting the ball with confidence. Makes both free throws. And now Long Beach State can play for the final shot of the first half. They trail by eight points. Let's see who gets the final shot here. Slater holds 10 seconds left in the first half. Slater has his pass kicked. So five and four tenths of a second. And the beach will inbound from the sideline. Inbound goes to Jones, right back to Slater. Two, Slater, tough shot, didn't get it. Ball tip. Ha and then up your defense. If you can turn him over nine times, turn him over 10 or 11 times. Second half underway. Again, both teams come in 0-1 in conference play as Roberts throws it away. He was looking for Triore underneath. Mitchell all the way. Triore got in there, but so the putback. You know, I like the thought process on that uh, first possession, even though it was a turnover. Get downhill, draw multiple defenders, find an open man. A seal back the other way. Norris, two-hand slam dunk, and uh, the Gauchos up and themselves down a dozen. Largest deficit of the game for the beach. Well, no changes to the lineup, though, after that Dan Munson timeout. Yeah, it certainly wasn't the plan to come out into half and have back-to-back -back turnovers. Foul here going against. A.J. Mitchell, and that'll give Long Beach State a, a 20 on their shot clock. On the beach, shooting 30% for the game. UCSB up to 58% now. Triore to Murray, back to Triore, and finishes. Pretty play, Triore. You see that, you know, again, looked like a little crazy shot. When you're that athletic and you can hang up there, it's good, but it's points in the paint. 10-point game now. Abubakar Traore's first basket. It's all about stops on this end of the floor. Looking underneath for So. Can't quite find him. Roberts has him wrapped up. Seven on the shot clock. Norris will try a three. Jadon Jones grabs the board. Boy, if you could just copy that and duplicate that every time down the floor, good possession by Long Beach State defensively. Murray breaks free to the basket. All right, so you had back-to-back -back turnovers to start. Now you have back-to-back -back paint scores, and you had one really good defensive possession. That's what I talk about the spurts. It's the consistency and the sustainability to be able to do the right thing over and over, and that's called discipline on this end defensively and on the other end offensively. Don't flip the script. Sounds to me like a well-timed timeout taken by Dan Munson. No doubt. So against Slater. He'll rise. Size advantage. Shot was short. Roberts gets it up for Slater. One on one. All the way. Blocked off the backboard by So. Beach thinking it was a goaltend. Gauchos. We'll slow things down here. Mitchell into the paint, floater, no. Triore couldn't handle the rebound. And then a foul as Norris went up, got hit. He'll go to the line. That, that defensive possession right there, I just didn't see any gas. You know, I, I sort of see guys, I'm not going to say they're not going through the motions, but they're not playing defense. This is a team that has to click on all cylinders. And they have got to take the responsibility, because I've been to practice. I've seen their full court defensive drills. I've seen their half court defensive drills. But sometimes you've got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired when you get beat. And that possession right there, I see guys huffing and puffing. And, and they're really, they're not dictating any movement of Santa Barbara. But I've always said that the defense should dictate the offense. Player movement and ball movement, I'm just not seeing that. Norris misses the second, made the first. 39 to 30, Gauchos. Almost threw that one away. Murray's got it. Triore 
Passed up the open three. Drives inside. Can't finish. Rebound to Norris. But I'm going to tell you why that was one of the best offensive plays of the game. Because he didn't shoot the three. He understands his game and put it on the floor and got to the rim. Unfortunately, didn't finish. Triore is yet to take a three this season. Beach off a steal. Murray. Roberts cleans up. I like that. And, and I hope Abubakar never takes a three. That's not his game. That fits into what I've been preaching and trying to teach. Know what you do. Just because you're open, there's a reason sometimes you're open from three. Well, impressive then for him to pass up the three and still get as good a look as he did. Best offensive play I've told you. If we could put it on a highlight board, I would. He knows his role. He knows his game. Norris doesn't hit. Roberts almost had it taken away, but he stays with it. And now the beach down seven. Slater all the way off to Triore underneath and fouled Triore to the free throw line. Well, I like the strong pivot foot, but I'll tell you, I just want to see him go up and score with that 1% athleticism. I, I've said, you know, uh, the game before against Hawaii, it's almost NBA athleticism. I, I haven't seen a guy like him athletically since I coached Jeff Trepanier out of Compton High School that had that athleticism. But just go up and go over and use that God-given ability. By the way, Triore has worked it back to 50% from the free throw line. He's two for two there tonight. First free throw here is good. Triore went to the free throw line down in San Diego when Long Beach State was playing San Diego State earlier this season. He airballed the first of two attempts and 1,000 San Diego State students in attendance just let him hear it for the rest of the game. And I heard that Triore has been making sure since that moment to get in the gym and get up extra free throws, and it's really shown. So he's got the Mamba mentality. I remember Kobe Bryant missing a couple free throws. I think it was in Utah, but that's good. Get, get, again, he knows his game. I, I, I love watching him play. And of all the places to do it, San Diego State, they fill up the gym. That's not a good place to airball one. Another perfect trip, and it's a five-point game. Long Beach State on a 7-0 run, responding after that timeout. Norris ends the run. Jay Don. Here's Triori again. Finds his way underneath. A day hand with some good defense. Gaucho's in transition. Sonny blocked by Triore. Coming back to finish on the other end. Now Roberts off to Jones. Jones gets the roll. Vintage Long Beach State basketball. I talked earlier at the start of this game about the peaks and valleys. I mean, right now they're playing well. And look, they're energized. Slater's the head of the snake. They're defending. But it's the, the digging the hole and having to dig out. It takes so much energy. That's why I want to see these young fellas put long spurts of good basketball together. How about Triori coming all the way back down the floor, chasing the play to block the shot? Mitchell drives. Off the window. But as good as that block shot is, that's how bad that closeout was by Jadon Jones. Again, the discipline to be able to close out, keep him in front, close enough to contest the shot, and not to let him drive by. Seven-point Gaucho lead. Jones trying to make up for it on that end, and he does, rattles it home. Back-to-back -back shots for Jadon. That's the offensive execution I've been talking about all game. That There was a method to their madness, time, space, big-time shot. Five-point game again. Let's see if the Beach can come up with a stop. Triori on Norris. Triori's got to guard the ball harder. Get your hands up. Trace the basketball like Slater did. And an offensive foul. Turning down that shot. He was wide open. He should have shot it. Why didn't he shoot it? Because that's not what he does to help this team win at this point. And it's just tough love. You know, I, I get it, too, from Coach Miller as his broadcast partner. Hampton to Triore, two-hand slam dunk. Triore, first player for Long Beach State into double figures. He's got 10. Give me 10 of, give me 10 of a booba cars. I'd love to coach him. 10 points, five boards for Triore, his first conference start. A.J. Mitchell, down low for So. Triore in there for the board. So defends, walls him up, makes him shoot over, and then gets the basketball. Culmination of a good defensive play by Abubakar. Corner three from Slater. That would have really gotten this place excited and would have tied the game. 
But the Gauchos still up three with the basketball. And a whistle away from the ball, and it's going against the beach. That foul on Joe Hampton, second on Hampton, second on the team this half. Gauchos will inbound. Around the perimeter, Mitchell, left hand hook. Two things I didn't like. I didn't like the on-the-ball defense, and I didn't like Jaden Jones reaching. You know, one of the few negatives I've, I've seen from him tonight. But move your feet. Shut the elevator door. Don't let him get through. It just takes effort. And now whistle away from the basketball on the Gauchos. And that foul on A.J. Mitchell. And Mitchell's third foul. He joins teammate Pierre-Louis as the only two players in the game with three fouls for the Gauchos. Joel Murray has three for the beach. Is it making sense to you when you hear me talking a good possession, a bad possession? That's the ups and downs. That's the peaks and valleys that doesn't equate to wins. And they've got to stop making those mistakes. It's a, to err is human. To make the mistake repeatedly over and over again is not good. Well, we saw the beach fall behind by 12. They came out after a timeout. All of a sudden, we saw more good possessions than we saw bad possessions, and they've gotten back in the game. Great kids with a lot of fight. Now, go to work inside. That, that's what I'm talking about. And, and I'm going to jump in there. I'll be, I'll be the analyst and play-by-play. -play. Two feet in the paint, gets the ball, doesn't fade away. He goes up. Something good is going to happen. And, and that's all I want from him. I, I want, you know when I say I don't want a guy taking 21 shots from the perimeter? I want a guy taking 10 to 15 shots in the lane. It's high percentage. Look at his body. That, that's, an, that, that's like a football player, a body. It's just strong and can be explosive. Great feed. Hopefully he gets paid dividends at the, at the charity strike. Just waiting for the play-by-play, -play, Coach. <laughs> you, hey, listen, I, sometimes I hear Michael Thompson do it with the Lakers. You don't want to open that door. <laughs> Hampton trying to make it a perfect trip, trying to make it a one possession game. Got them both. Beach down three. You are my encyclopedia of stats. I couldn't do this without you. Likewise. Here's Pierre Louis back into the game. Just mentioned him. He's playing with three fouls. I want Abubakar's hands to get a little bit more active. Look, they're down behind, below his waist. Active hands, high hands. And then if you have high hands, you're in position to go rebound. Bad closeout. Dayhan underneath against Slater. Size advantage for the Gauchos. And even forget the size advantage. That's bad perimeter defense. Wall them out. Don't let them get the ball inside. Catch and shoot. Jadon Jones knocks it down, and he's fired up. Plays with such passion and love for this game. And you know what? He's a youngin. He's allowed to make mistakes. I just, I just like the way he approaches life every day. Two-point game. Closest it has been since the first half. Oh, great take on the chest by Abubakar. Big shot, Pierre-Louis. Now quiet the crowd for a moment. Slater down low to Hampton. Hampton, good right-hand hook, and it kind of looked like he caught the defender asleep there for a moment. I'm speechless, and I don't get speechless. That's two possessions in a row to Hampton. He gets the ball inside. Something good happens. 49-47 the score. Beach down by just two again. Sani, shot blocked. Cleaned up underneath Torre. He's fouled and he's going to the line. Like the help execution, moving the ball freely. Much better job. Long Beach State already with 12 points in the paint in the second half. They had eight points in the paint in the first half. Torre makes the first free throw, so it's back to a three-point game, 50-47. to 47. Second one, no good. Roberts bobbles the rebound, able to save it from going out of bounds. Beach down three with a basketball. Jones, now Cobb. Hampton against So. Hampton gets fouled. No, Hampton commits the foul, and the beach bench erupts. I, I, I don't know if it's a foul, and if I was his coach, I would stick up for him, but it's a little too fancy for me. It's just a little too fancy for me in terms of I want him to catch the ball in the lane, not outside the lane. 
second foul. Make it the third on Hampton. A.J. Mitchell driving on Hampton. Too strong off glass. Sonny the rebound. He can't hit. Hampton grabs that one. We got Jordan Roberts may have twisted an ankle sitting down there underneath the basket. Hope he's okay. I think they actually just called a flop warning. On. I think on J-Rob. Yeah, that was the call. And you can see Dan Munson all the way down on the baseline yelling at that official right now. As he should. Roberts was slow to get up there. So a flop warning on J-Rob. 50 to 30, 50 to 47, beg your pardon. Beach down three. Slater, 10 to shoot. Make your dribble take you somewhere. Slater, deep three, NBA range. Pierre-Louis tracks it down. Not necessarily the shot Long Beach State wanted there. Here's a three from Sonny, no good. <laughs> Look at that, box out by Slater, but UCSB ends up with a basketball. That's just 6'10 length, great heart by Slater. Slater against Norris, Norris can't finish, so keeps it alive, has it. Out to Norris, try a three, no good. So gets it back again, and Jump ball called. Possession but, arrow keeps it with the Gauchos. Well, the problem you're having with Long Beach State, you're trying to out jump the, 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 the offensive team as opposed to hit first. I talked about that as a mentality for Santa Barbara in the keys to start this game. But blocking out is blocking out. A shot goes up, you've got to find a blue jersey, make contact like Slater did to start that possession, but too many opportunities to have second chance opportunities to score. And no doubt the Gauchos with the size advantage there when he got so a day hen and Norris. But you know what? Size doesn't matter if you block out. If you hit somebody, you know, unless it's Shaq, I get that, but there's no Shaq out on the floor. Block out. Seal your man off, get inside position, and release and go get the basketball. Five on the shot clock for the Gauchos. A day hen in the paint. Gets the roll. 52 to 47. That ended an 0 for 6 stretch for the Gauchos. Meanwhile, Long Beach State, they've knocked down six of their last eight. Joel Murray sitting with nine points. Triore and Jones lead Long Beach State with 10 apiece. Hampton against Adehan. Hands to Murray. He'll rise off the dribble. Can't knock it down. Good screen by Hampton in that possession right there. Just unfortunate it didn't go through the net. Mitchell, Sonny, Pierre-Louis, Norris, and Adehan on the floor for the Gauchos. That's the defensive pressure I want to see. Switching, talking, athleticism on, that, on the drive. Jones may have come up with a block there. Beach haven't scored in over three minutes. They're down five. So get the ball inside. Get it into the paint. Murray drives and gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. A lot. Murray sitting at nine points. Leading score for the game, Santa Barbara's A.J. Mitchell has 11. Norris has 10. And now they're checking to make sure that uh, nobody entered the game when they shouldn't have. And it looks like a, a Bubakar Traore didn't check in properly. So Roberts has to come back off the bench. And Triori will come in here in a moment. Murray. First free throw. He's got 10. I talked earlier about it. I, I love the way Mur Murray plays with great poise. You can tell he understands the game. But I really would like to see him be more a director on the floor. I know he can get a bucket anytime he wants. You see him, he can get to the lane, he can get downhill. Uh, he's a shot maker. Um, but in order for this team to do some damage in the Big West, he's going to have to uh, direct and hold guys accountable on the floor. Three point game, 52 49. So couldn't handle the pass from Pierre Louis. Picked up on the floor by Jones. Beach back the other way. 
Murray looking inside for Hampton. Bounces out to Jones to tie the game. He got it. Talk about making winning plays. That's Murray poised. Could have taken it. Could have pulled up. Saw Jones in the deep corner. Bucket. Jones has 13. Second three for Jones in the second half. 52 all. Under eight minutes to play. Solid defensively. Keep them in front. Limit the dribble penetration. Contest, block out, rebound. Sonny over Cobb. Can't answer. Rebound to J. Dunn. Sort of simple when you break it down into bullet points. Long Beach State looking for their first lead since the 1240 mark of the first half when it was 14-11. Hampton fakes the three, drives inside, missed the layup. It rolled right off the rim. So it's a nice look. I love his ability to want to get to the rim. Now get back and get a stop. Got to have Sonny. high hands, high hands and live feet. Seven on the shot clock, seven minutes to play. Now four on the clock, Norris, the fall away. Cobb's got the rebound. Exactly the shot if you're Long Beach that you want the Gauchos to take. Here's Triore. he's going to try to make it happen. He gives the beach the lead. He's sort of like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. He doesn't know that he could have take one, took one dribble and went up and just slammed it and broke, <laughs> broke the rim. Great move, great drive. I didn't know Dorothy could dunk it. She could, and she knew how to get home. She just had to figure it out, figuring things out, and so is the Long Beach State defense. It's going to be Long Beach State basketball after this timeout. The beach have the momentum. The vibe is good inside the pyramid. Well, there's the dribble drive, and Dorothy knew how to get to the rim. There's no place like home. Long Beach State feeling good on a 7-0 run over the last couple of minutes to get back on top their first lead since it was 14-11 early in the first half. Beach up 54-52 against UCSB with 6.28 to go. And Triore has just been a huge spark plug for Long Beach State in his first ever conference start. I like to call him the human pogo stick. And I'll tell you, the other person that's been energized has been Jadon Jones on both ends of the floor. And I thought Murray has done a great job of distributing, finding guys that are hot and most importantly, that are open. Let's look at this half court box set right here. Where do they go? Triore making a move, finishing and one. You've been listening to the game, right? You've been listening to the game? Yeah, I've been listening to you. Yeah, I, I mean, right. And what do you see there? A set to get the ball inside. If this team would just understand and, and, and execute what Munson and his staff wants, it's easy basketball. We always say, you know, players make it complicated simplicity. What a great set. What a great execution. And, uh, you know, Ab uh, Abubakar, man, he is a highlight reel tonight. The aggressiveness and, and the ability to get to the basket in this game is really come on strong here in the second half. In case you ever do a game with Bill Walton down the road, I'm just getting you ready. Pierre-Louis. Got to be better closeouts on that left side. Shot clock at 10. Sonny's going to pull up. Offensive rebound for So. Like the effort by Abubakar. Just, yeah, just, yeah. just, just it wasn't timed right. Uh, didn't like a couple of those closeouts. You got to stick to the script, fellas. Beach up three. Murray, nowhere close underneath. Ball out of bounds, and it's going to UC Santa Barbara. You know, I, I like the thought, Jason, of getting downhill and taking those shots, but you need cleaner looks. Or, or you better covet contact. You know, it, you're, you're up three points now. You know, so now the shot selection has to really get better. And then down here defe defensively, you, you've got to rev the engine. Sonny, good find to Pierre-Louis. Couldn't get a shot off, though, and it's taken away. Triori comes up with it. Like the multiple efforts. Cobble slow things down. 
Beach, up three, 57-54. Triore. Can't find it there, and he throws it away. Sani has the steal. Too much manufacture. Don't, don't manufacture it. Let it come. Sani couldn't finish. Dishes off to Pierre-Louis. Under five minutes to play now. Long Beach State can't have those type of possessions on the other end. You know, I, I call that an empty possession, even though they, they, they tried to get a shot off. Mitchell, big basket for UCSB. One-point game. Murray saves it to Hampton. Now Hampton backing down on a day head. 10 on the shot clock for Long Beach State. Murray against Mitchell. Three. Hampton for three. Short. Cobb the rebound underneath. Right place, right time by Cobb. Open three for Cobb. Couldn't hit. Triore the rebound. Had it poked away out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. Beach basketball. Romel Mansell and Jordan Roberts coming in for Long Beach State. Triore. And Hampton going to the bench. Sekou Torre comes in for Pierre Louis. By the way, Robinson and Dehan on the floor right now. He's playing with four fouls. Only player in the game with four. Cobb into Murray. Roberts will pull up deep two. No, and Sani flies in for the board. Gaucho's trying to take the lead back. Clock under four minutes now, 3.55 to go. Mitchell hits it. Foot on the line, it's a two-point shot, but the Gaucho's back on top, 58-57. And all of a sudden, the Gaucho's on a 6-0 run. Murray driving to the free throw line, pulls up. It's good. Joel Murray. Tough shot. Wow. Murray ties Jadon Jones at 13. They're behind Triore with 15. Key for both teams. Don't trade baskets. You want to, who's going to get consecutive stops that's going to create a little bit of separation? The Beach need to defend without fouling and make it one and done and get going on the other end. Mitchell, the fake, out to Torre. Eight on the shot clock. Underneath the day hand against Jones. Blocked by Roberts. Who touched it last? It's Beach basketball. Big time play, and I thought it all started with the toughness of Cobb inside, guarding so, and then multiple efforts on the Jeff Cammon and his team. They remind me a little bit of LL Cool J. They keep winning, and they keep doing it well. They're on a roll and playing very, very good basketball, trying to win a regular season championship here at the beach. Meanwhile, Long Beach State's men's team trying to win their first conference game and trying to do it against the defending champs, UC Santa Barbara. Slater out to Hampton. Hampton finds his way underneath. Left-handed hook, didn't fall. Norris the rebound. Good take. I like the way he took up the space, got into the lane, just missed it. Want to see more of those attempts. Gauchos down one with the basketball here. Want to see active hands by Abubakar, something he's got to get better at. And then talk out the switches. Norris looking underneath for So. So quadruple teamed, it seemed. Missed the shot. Triori brings down the rebound. That, that walling off was as big as the pyramid that we're playing in. That was great team defense. Seven rebounds for Triore, three away from a double-double. The question is on this end, where do the points come from and where does the shot come from? Couple weapons out there, but who gets the best look? Hampton off his screen, out to Jones. Now Murray, five to shoot. And an offensive foul going against Long Beach State. They turn it over. That's the one thing you just did not want. You know, again, didn't know if the shot was coming outside or inside, but the key was to get a shot up one. Now they're going to have to depend on their defensive discipline on this end to get a stop. Should note the Santa Barbara team is good and as deep as they are, they're winless on the road this year. 0-4 away from the Thunderdome, 7-1 at home. Again, their last game was on December 30th. They lost in overtime on the road at UC San Diego. Good defense by Joe, using his body, absorbing it, 
That's a jump ball. Jones wrapped him up. Jump ball, Long Beach State basketball. You know, I've been hard on Joe because I think Joe has the potential to be a, 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 an all-conference player in this league this year. And, and there's somewhere at next level he'll play. That was the first time I saw him bought in. And not that he's not on the same page, but that was great defense. Moving his feet, taking it on the chest. Those are the plays I expect from the big fella. Beach up one with the ball. They've held UCSB to 37% shooting in this second half. Long cry from the 57 in the first half. Gauchos haven't scored in two and a half minutes. Beach trying to score right here. Slater couldn't finish. Triore cleans up and gets it and flexes his muscles as he comes up the floor. Well, Rightfully he's, so. He's getting ready for the gun show tomorrow in here at that convention. I'll tell you what, great idea not to touch that ball when he would have been called for interference big play three-point game the pyramid getting loud 15 on the gaucho shot clock 40 seconds left another good defense taking away the drive absorbing it on the chest sonny to tie spun out rebound tipped up jones has it beach basketball one second differential gauchos have to foul and they foul colin slater who's shooting it over 90 percent this season now partner Points in the paint, 28 for the beach. Just eight in the first half, yeah, so 22nd half say, points in the paint. Plus 20. Big free throw right here so they can get their press set up. Slater makes them both. Five point game. Roberts and Cobb in, Slater and Hampton out as the beach fortify their defense. Triore, Jones, Cobb, Murray, Roberts on the floor for the beach. So initially, keep everybody in front. Don't let them beat you long. And now you want to turn them, defend without fouling. Cole Anderson, a good three-point shooter, is coming for the Gauchos. Norris for three, off to the right. Rebound, knocked out. Beach basketball, 16 seconds left. Oh, I, I just think we'll see him take one this year. Well, listen, Dennis, Dennis Rodman could shoot it if you rebound like that at once a game for Phil. Murray gets fouled. He goes to the line now, trying to build on a five-point lead. Well, now it becomes, let's see, who, who's going to bring this Long Beach State, State team together? Someone's got to huddle them up, and it looks like that time it was Murray, so, so I like that. But someone's got to get, get them together, talk about what they're going to be doing, and again, Munson has talked about various situations in that first time out, what they're going to be doing. But big free throws right now. What Beach has to do their job, knock them down. On the other side, you look at the Gauchos, again, coming off a Big West title last year. They come into this one, 7-5 and five overall, 0-1 and one in Big West play. They've had their last three games canceled. You see Joe Pasternak there and the terrific job he's done in Santa Barbara. But uh, what went wrong in the second half for UC Santa Barbara? Well, I think it has a lot to do with the defense by Long Beach State. They just, they were energized, they were proactive, they started walling off the paint, a shot went up, there were guys rebounding the ball, but, you know, I mentioned it, you know, this this team at Santa Barbara has struggled, and, you know, Pasternak's the reigning coach of the year, Munson, I like to call the dean of the coaches, I mean, you got two really good coaches and two teams that are just fighting tooth and nail to get, to get a Big West victory. I'll tell you what, though, too, as good as Santa Barbara's been under Pasternak since he took over, this Long Beach State squad, they've been a thorn in their side as uh, they, they have played them really tough when there have been times when Santa Barbara's been the better team, but uh, it hasn't shown on the floor. And as we see a, a timeout taken here, so we got 15 seconds left. Long Beach State has built a seven-point lead. They're on an 8-0 run, and Santa Barbara hasn't scored in three and a half minutes. And so the first thing you want to look if you're Santa Barbara, obviously you have to get the basketball in, so I would love to see Long Beach switch everything, deny, get a five-second call. I mean, that would be the cherry on the top uh, of, of what we've seen defensively. And they don't have much time to dribble the ball up. If they do inbound it, they want to push it with the pass, and obviously they're going for quick shots. Expect a three in transition. Inbound to Pierre-Louis. Quickly into the front court. He slips, gets it back to Mitchell, deep three. No good. So out for the rebound. Six seconds left. He'll rise for three. That's no good. Pierre-Louis can't get the putback. Cobb's got it. Beach gonna...